Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra, and I don't think I've been this excited to launch a video in an extremely long time. I am making over a YouTuber's bedroom from start to finish, completely virtually. It's an epic transformation. I've never done anything like this on my channel, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I have worked with Squarespace so many times because they are such an awesome platform for those of you who are looking to start a brand new business. More about them later, but for now, I encourage you to grab a snack, to get comfy, and enjoy this epic makeover. who are new here, I make over small spaces, typically rental apartments or studio apartments. And my goal with these videos is to really help you gain confidence when it comes to decorating and making decor and design not feel so intimidating. But you know, the world has been totally flipped upside down and I haven't been able to get into people's spaces and I really, really miss it. So one day I was like, okay, I wanna make over someone's space. I wanna send them all the product. I wanna make them a design plan. And then I want them to film the process of putting their space together. And I immediately thought of Tasha Leland. So I messaged her and I was like, hey, do you by any chance have a room in your, in your home that you need made over? Like, do you want a free makeover? And she was like, well, in fact, my bedroom is a total blank slate. Do you wanna do that space? Hey guys, my name is Tasha Leland. I have a YouTube channel called Tasha Leland. It's a whole lot of like lifestyle content dog content. <laughs> I currently live in the country with my four dogs and I recently rearranged my house and I moved my office studio space to a separate building so my new bedroom is in my old office space. I've just neglected it. I've been spending all my time designing the studio so I need some help. I felt like the decor gods were just shining down on me. They were like here's the perfect space with someone's style that you really love. Go for it. So the way this makeover is going to work, I am going to get measurements and before photos from her, and then I am going to come up with a mood board, a design plan, totally map out her space for her, and then send her products in the mail to her door. She has no clue what these products are going to be. She has no clue what the room is gonna look like, and it's her challenge to unbox everything, follow my design plan, and put this space together. Crazy. I know. So first things first, I jumped on a call with Tasha to talk about her space, take a look at the before photos, and really get a sense of what she wants and needs in this bedroom. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited we're doing this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This, this needs to happen. It needs to come into my life. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so I'd love to hear from you. Um, what you need help with in your bedroom. Let's start with that. Like what's not working? <laughs> <laughs> this used to be my home office and then over the last year I actually like built a studio outside of my house so this room was empty and I decided to move my bed in here and then because I had this like home office I spent all my time making it perfect and then I just came in here to sleep at night so this has just been the most neglected spot in my home it just needs like all the help in the world <laughs> I kind of envision this like very tranquil like but like you space where there's just nothing around except you're like your bed a cozy rug cozy space where you can recharge that's exactly what i want i just want this to be okay sleep and turn off and no work because for so long unfortunately like all my spaces were like you know the same thing and now i'm lucky enough to just have this bedroom space so like i just want to be able to chill in this space so like just decor i think we're going to focus on you don't really need like organization solutions or extra storage. It's mainly just making the space look beautiful. The one thing I would say that I do like to do is, um, cause I get up in the morning here, I like to just like do my makeup in here. So somewhere with just like a little mirror, I can quickly do my face and then head out the door. Can you walk me through like what you envision for the space in terms of colors and 
patterns. Overall, like I'm a very like warm, neutral gal. So whether that be like an ochre, a mustard, a terracotta, I have a very boho style, but I like to call it like kind of like country gal, boho, desert, kind of chic. Um, it actually totally encompasses your style. Like you know. <laughs> okay. And you have four dogs, right? I have three right now and a rescue. Yeah. So I did tell you I need to keep this dog bed. I mean, I will say it's a beautiful dog bed. It's an Urban Outfitters day bed. It's like gorgeous as it is, but I need that because there's so many of them. If I didn't have that, they all four would be in my bed and it would just, I would never sleep. <laughs> okay, so we have to find a solution to make the day bed work. Yes. It's safe. It could be cuter, I think. I also chuckled that you have a day bed for your dogs. I'm like, do I have to get a day bed for my cats? Like, I, yeah. is that a new thing? That I we're get it. <laughs> So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking lots of natural materials, like this woven pendant, and then lots of accessories made from wicker or rattan, a really fun, inexpensive DIY headboard with paint, lots of earthy tones, mustards, rusts, but then soft pink sprinkles here and there, a rug that kind of ties all of those colors together, some Moroccan style cushions. As Tasha mentioned in our call, she actually doesn't keep any of her clothes here, which is perfect for me because that means it's all about decor and just making the space feel beautiful and tranquil. So here's how it's gonna work. I am ordering all of these items. Tasha has not seen any of them except the bed. She's gonna like open it up day of and hopefully she likes it kind of nerve-wracking for me I'm also sending my plan a couple like really really rough sketches guys drawing is not my strong suit so she gets a sense of placement she's gonna be adding um, some of her own personal touches into the space of course I will be on call if she has any questions but I'm hoping that all of this information will be enough to guide her through this decor process Let's head in and see how she got on with day one. Welcome to day one of this makeover. The first thing on the agenda is we need to get this room painted. Are you guys gonna help? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. So day one is done. Tasha got all of the painting done. She got the bed built, which is awesome. I don't know if I'm just really bad at reading instructions, but regardless, it's done. So here's the bed. I have been instructed by Alexandra to change up the placement of the room a little bit. She had the bed in the corner of the room, and I actually think it's gonna look a lot better right in the center of her space. We're gonna play a little bit of Tetris this morning because we're gonna be painting a headboard on the wall, and I need to kind of know how big to make it and the exact placement. I also wanna bring in the dog bed that was in here because I wanna see just like how far over the bed can go exactly. This is what the space is looking like right now. We have this sort of amount of space here, which is definitely more than enough to walk. And then over here, we have about this much space. I know that Alexandra did get me like a floating nightstand, she said, so we should go and open that box and see what it looks like. What the? Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure this is the side table. This is so flipping cute. <gasps> Look at this. There is not enough space there for much, but like it would be nice to just put like a glass of water, your phone. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna call Alexandra and I'm gonna ask her about the placement of both nightstands and the bed. I know that once I have this headboard on the wall, it's like the bed has to stay there. So let's give her a call. Hello. Hi. Does it look brighter? Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh look, vlog. <laughs> Yay! Okay, hold on, let me just set you up here. Ask away. All right, so number one question is placement of everything. Because we're doing the painted headboard, we we have to get it right the first go. <laughs> so, yes. 
this is what I have going on right now. So there's not like too much space over here, but there's a lot of space here, definitely for what we want to do. And then if you go over to the other side, which by the way, I just opened this. Yay! It's so cute. Like I've never even seen anything like this and it's perfect. It's like the so perfect cute. size. But like, what are your thoughts? Like this is enough space to walk for sure. Do you think this is the best? Yeah, I would say that the side table on the left will work as long as you think that the chair for the vanity will fit. I don't see that being a problem. I really don't. But yeah, I'm just worried about doing the headboard thing and then being like, oh crap, you should have done it over more. But no, I think it looks I think it looks awesome. Okay. I'll just probably mark off where the bed is so that I know when we go to do the painted headboard, like exactly where it is. I'm so right. excited. Yay! Thank you. Are you getting the headboard today? Yes. So excited. Right now. Right now. Yay. Okay, good luck and call me if you need anything. Okay, I will. Bye. Bye. Before we continue watching this makeover come to life, I wanted to remind you guys that I have a website, alexandragator.com, that I built using Squarespace that has links to my Amazon shops, both US and Canadian, my merch shop where I sell cute tees and tote bags. I also have a little spot there where you can sign up for my newsletter called The Decor Edit. My newsletter is such a great place to get extra decor content from me, a lot of product suggestions every week. A huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Video. As I mentioned, I've built a website using Squarespace. The thing I love about it most is that it is so easy to navigate. For someone who doesn't have a lot of time as a small business owner to, you know, deal with HTML code, Squarespace makes it easy, effective. You can run an online store. You can look at analytics to see, you know, what is performing well. You can send out newsletters to all of your subscribers. So it really is the best platform to tackle your business on. If you guys have been thinking about starting your own business, maybe turning your hobby into a side hustle, or if you've been thinking about creating a new website, head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to my link which will be right here to save 10% off your first website or domain sign up for my newsletter go visit my website maybe start your own website using Squarespace <laughs> and let's see what Tasha is up to so now we are going to tackle a painted on circle headboard, which I'm super, super excited about. If you guys would like to see how I created this and all the ins and outs of it, you can check out that video on my channel. So yeah, let's get to painting. Alexandra has sent me three surprise paint colors. This first one that I'm opening is called Plantain Chips. Ooh, she's like a bright, bright yellow. This next one, is called Amber Brew. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I think I'm liking that one a little bit more. Next one is called Butter Rum, which just like sounds perfect. Ooh, oh goodness. Let's do a swatch of them all on the wall. I'm really loving this one. I've been loving this one since the start. I think we should go with our gut. And let's do this color. I think it's, I think it's the best. Now you guys could take this off if you wanted to, but I'm gonna freehand it because I feel like it might look kind of cool if it's not perfectly perfect, you know? Okay, I think we're gonna need one more coat. I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll come back. So it's day three and Tasha is now tackling the lighting in this space. The first thing that I thought of, as I do in any space I go into, I was like, Tasha, you need to change the pendant light. And I totally saw an opportunity to bring in like lots of texture with a big, bold pendant light. So I'm sending over two options for Tasha because I couldn't decide. Everything is arriving. It is time to tackle the nipple <laughs> light fixture in my room and we have actually two light fixtures to decide on. So the first light fixture, I can't believe this is Ikea. I had no idea that they had a light fixture so beautiful. Look at the vibe that's going on here. Like how could we do better than this? The second one is from Article. So let's open up this box. Oh my gosh. 
What the heck? She did it to me again. Okay, let's let's pull this out so we can see it. Okay, you guys, so I decided to go with the article one. I sort of liked that it had more width to it. I thought it would just kind of fill this empty space a little bit better. I think that it looks really nice with the, the bed frame as well. So this is the one we went with. I love it so much. Like, I think it looks so good. The next course of action is this desk. So this is the one that Alexandra picked out. It's gonna be perfect. And we're thinking that it's gonna go right here beside the bed in this area. I called in an Ikea Alex shelf. I have one in my closet office. It has two drawers for storage and I just thought this would be the perfect little narrow vanity for Tasha to use in the morning she has storage for her makeup and it doesn't take up too much space so it's day four of the makeover Tasha has come so far it's finally all coming together she has a couple chairs that she's thrifted that she thinks would work well so I'm hopping on a call with her to see both options and pick my fave one you're being vlogged Okay. <laughs> the issue with the two chairs is that one is much taller than the other, so we really need to narrow, like we can't decide after, we have to decide now. So I want to show you the, the two chairs, because you haven't seen either of them. No, I'm so excited. First one is this like <gasps> rocking chair type I thing. I love that so much. Okay, but yeah. let me like pull this chair under so you can okay. see what it looks like. So there's the other chair. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, I think okay. that's the one. Is the height okay? Yeah, so um, I have to raise it a little bit because right now it's like resting on there. So I'm just gonna yeah. raise it just like ever so slightly and then we'll be good. I feel like this chair more so kind of like ties the rest of the room, whereas that chair it's beautiful, but like it's a bit like stark yeah. white. So okay, yeah. all right. It looks incredible. Now it is time for Tasha to hang these linen curtains that I sent her, but I'm throwing in a bit of a DIY twist. So what you'll need are two leather knobs. I got these ones from Ikea. You could get yours on Etsy. And you also need some wall anchors. So you want to put the wall anchors in the wall on either side of your window frame and then twist in the knob. And then you want to slide a dowel cut to the size of your window frame through the leather handles and that's it. So simple. I saw this DIY on the paper and stitch blog, probably the most like inexpensive way to hang curtains. I also needed to find a solve for the wall opposite Tasha's bed. We had talked about maybe hanging a TV on this wall, but ultimately Tasha decided against it. So I thought an art wall would be perfect. Now, my favorite way to create more renter friendly gallery wall is to use photo ledges. So it can be like an ever changing wall based on how your room evolves and grows over time. For the shelving, we have received a package with art in it. I feel like art is such a personal thing, so I'm kind of scared. Maybe I should just put it in the frame and then flip it over. Okay, let's flip it over, see what we have. Ooh, she cute. Okay, clearly I have framed it very poorly, but look how cute this is. Oh, okay, I'm peeking. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love that. All right, let me get all these in the frame and then I'll flip them over and I'll show you guys. I love these two prints and Alexander told me to, to be like honest. And this one I just, I'm not like the biggest fan of, I think it's the gray. I know I'm being ridiculous, but I think this one is just one that I'm not overly obsessed with enough to have it in my bedroom so these are like perfect so perfect and then she also gave me a frame because i told her that i had this print that i would love to put in the room and it says save our planet raise a hippie and i think that like the three of these go together super nicely these these work for me i sent over three shelves I suggested she stagger them on the wall and just fill it with some art that I've sent her. Thank you to the principal concept for sending some artwork. By the way, all the products will be linked down below. 
Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the final day of the makeover. Today is reveal day. We do have a couple things that I need to tackle before we can actually go ahead and do the reveal with Alexandra on video call. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of a mishap. The rug isn't going to be here on time, but I do have this really beautiful rug that Alexandra also thought was very beautiful. So I think it's going to look good. Now it's time for all of those finishing touches. A huge shout out to Love and Gray. Tasha actually introduced me to her store. She is based in the United States. Guys, her stuff is incredible. She sent over some beautiful cushions to finish off this space. I didn't want it to look like a dog bed when you walked into the room, so I thought a few cushions piled against the wall for obviously when the dogs are not on it would really tie this whole space together. So thank you Love and Gray for your beautiful cushions. Tasha is finished the room. We're gonna hop on a call and she's going to reveal the space to me. Fingers crossed that she likes her new room. Hi, I see your face in the back. <laughs> it looks so good. I can't even. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy. It's so <laughs> me too. Like obviously the headboard is so good. And then what else? Also and the then, dog bed works so well. Like that was the major challenge of this space. It's perfect. It looks intentional. Like we didn't have to make it work. Yeah. Love it. Curtains, how high you put them, it makes the ceilings look so much taller. Oh. I love how you put the chair in the corner. I just took it upon myself to make another seating area. I love it. Look at the art, it looks so good. I put it with some like dried palms. Yes, I, I thought love that it. was cute. That chair was such a good pick. And then the light, of course. The light is amazing. Look how good that looks. Oh, I always neglect my bedroom space, but this is probably the first time since maybe I was like 13 that I've had a bedroom that can be enjoyed. Like it looks like I, I walked out of like a home magazine <laughs> and I never had that before. So thank you. Thank you. I'm like, I'm like very emotional today for some <laughs> The biggest thing about giving up your space to someone else to design is like, you're worried because you don't know. Are they gonna channel the inner you? I don't know, but like, uh, this looks like my Instagram feed. <laughs> I'm, that makes, that gives me like goosebumps. It's like the calmest bedroom space I think I've ever had. You guys, I am so happy. A huge shout out to Tasha for making this video happen. You did such an amazing job filming and putting your space together. Thank you to Squarespace as well for sponsoring this video. Just a reminder to head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. Use my link, which will be right here, to save 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.